Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the final video of my Declutter 2018 series. So I'm going to continue doing more like decluttering sort of videos, but this is my last video in me doing declutter, decluttering myself and like my space. Today is going to be decluttering my mental space, so my mental clutter. I'm just going to go through a couple of the things that I've done or like do sort of more regularly than physical decluttering to help me have like more focus, keep a clear mind and just not be all jumbled up in my head. So before I start, if you want to see any of the physical decluttering videos that I've done, I'll have a link down below and then I'll also have it linked in the cards for now. But without further ado, I'm going to tell you the steps that I do to declutter my mental space. The first thing I do is a brain dump. Some people do this weekly, but I find it easier to do it monthly. I use a prompting list and I'll have a link down below of the prompting list that I use. But basically a brain dump is just dumping contents of your brain onto a piece of paper. So what a prompting list, the prompting list does for me, it helps me just remember things that have been like cluttering in my mind. So for me sometimes I find it hard to just think of something on the spot. But when I'm given a prompt I'm like, oh yeah, I have been thinking about that for a while and I want to get off my mind and see if it's something that I need to continue thinking about and put action into or if it's something that's not worth my thought I'm like oh no I don't need to worry about that so I can stop thinking about that. So for me I just do it monthly but you can do it weekly, you can do it on a Sunday at the end of the week just do a brain dump and then have a fresh start for the week and sort of brain clutter free. <laughs> sort of leading on from this my next step or action to decluttering my mental space is journaling or writing everything down. So basically just getting your thoughts streaming and putting pen to paper and just writing down whatever you think. It sort of helps just stream your thoughts out and for me it helps stop bottling up of emotions. It's not quite the same as brain dump because brain dump is like more like focus things like tasks. So this is just like stream of thoughts, things that happen in the week, in the month and you just want to write it out. Another thing I do with like the writing down is writing three things I'm grateful for every day. So this sort of helps keep me positive, focus more on the positive in the world rather than like the negative, which a lot of people seem to do. So that's something good I like to do to help clear my mental space and keep my mental space positive. The next action is to organize my money. So this is like setting up automatic uh, bank transfers, uh, budgeting, and that sort of thing. So when you organize this stuff, it sort of sets your mind at ease. Say you're living in an apartment and you have to pay rent every month or week. You set up an automatic transfer for this so you don't have to worry about being late to pay it and that sort of thing. Budget, so budget for food, for entertainment, for groceries, that sort of thing. So you set up a ideal spendings for each of those categories throughout the month. You want to try and spend less than that budgeted amount. So the fourth area is self-care. There is a wide range of things you can do for self-care. Yeah, self-care is a very important thing and it helps make you less stressed, less mentally cluttered, I found and again more positives. So for me self-care would be like having a nice bath, going for an ocean swim, just having like little things you know make you feel better and doing those just a couple of things a week or doing a couple of things each day. It might be something really little like just waking up in the morning and getting yourself a coffee or making your coffee at home, just having a coffee in the morning. That might be a little self-care thing you can do for yourself every morning. And finally, a thing that I really found helped me clear my mind is decluttering my physical space. So decluttering my physical space helped me create a cleaner, a clearer, a more organized environment in which I live in. By decluttering the stuff, 
and like only having things that I re wear regularly, use regularly. I've reduced the amount of decisions I have to make. It helps just make every like aspect of your life easier. So for example, I have these pens, which I like and I'm gonna use them. I don't have to like rifle through a bunch of pens to find the pen I like. Reducing those decisions made helps your brain power last for longer throughout the day because when you're making lots of decisions in the morning your brain power and willpower reduces much faster than it would if you've got less decisions to make during the morning the day just in general using my physical space truly has helped clear my mental space because when I walk into my room I feel happy being here I don't feel like cluttered <laughs> that's just the word but I don't feel cluttered so those are five different areas that I like to focus on and different things that I like to do to declutter my mental space I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hopefully you'll stick around for more I hope you have a good morning afternoon night evening wherever you are in the world and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.